When I realized how easily geraniums multiply, I practically stopped buying them. And I buy new plants only in order to diversify my varieties. I hope everyone knows that the varieties of zonal, royal, or garden geraniums, Pelargonium hortorum, are obtained as a result of hybridization and gene modification, and therefore can in no way be propagated by seeds. Geranium reproduces only by vegetative cloning, micropropagation, and root cutting. So I want to share with you my simple method by which I manage to grow geranium for my own needs and even for sale. I use it to fill flower baskets, outside urns, for flower beds, garden, or just a simple, beautiful house plant. Geranium grow new roots very quickly and easily, but often when I advise to root geranium using cuttings, people complain that the cuttings quickly rot and decay if they are put in water. The cuttings can also be immediately planted in the garden, into garden soil, by dipping them into synthetic or a natural root stimulant hormone. And in this case, the cuttings, depending on the conditions, may rot or just not be taken. And this can happen if there is insufficient humidity, low temperature, or not enough lighting. So I came up with a simple and very effective method with a very low rate of loss of these cuttings. What is the main reason behind these negative results, and what is the main reason behind the cuttings rot, and what can be done to possibly eliminate this and achieve a better result. One of the reasons why geranium cuttings rot is when you put them into a glass and they are all cramped up and there are too many of them. We already talked about this in our video regarding the universal method for rooting stems cutting in the first part, and you can see the link below. If the plants are placed tightly, the lack of ventilation contributes to the rapid reproduction of fungi and bacteria. I noticed if there's only one stalk, then it rots less often. So therefore, I came up with the idea of putting them in a decorative long vase tube with holes to ensure the distance between the cuttings and adequate ventilation. If you don't have such vase, then you can make it yourself from a simple plastic long water bottle. It is necessary to make holes with a diameter about a centimeter and fix it in a position so that it doesn't rotate and the water doesn't spill. Next, I put several crystals of potassium permanganate in the water. Potassium permanganate is a strong oxidizing agent that quickly reacts and inhibits undesirable microorganisms at this stage, and it also cauterizes the wounds of the geranium cutting and stimulates the formation of a scar at the cut site and thus stimulates the formation of roots. The very same potassium permanganate, having entered into a fast reaction, then precipitates and after a few days, the water becomes clean and transparent again. A scar that forms at the site of the cut is called a callus. From the point of view of biology, a callus is a group of differential meristemal cells formed under the influence of phytohormones, that is, stem cells, from which roots and even new plant clones can be formed. This is facilitated by phytohormones, which are naturally contained in the cells of the geranium stem, such as cytokines, auxins, and gibberellins. From such a callus, young roots will grow in about a week. And while this is not all that is needed, nutritious sugars are needed as well, which the green parts of the geranium synthesize as a result of photosynthesis, and therefore this phase should be placed in the most illuminated sunny spot. In addition, geraniums are very fond of light. And another important factor is that the presence of oxygen is necessary for the formation and the growth of fruits that occurs at the very border of the water and air separating the two media. And even if the water level drops so much that the stems of the cuttings become bare, the humidity in such an enclosed vessel is always very high and does not allow these formed roots to dry out. And they grow in air even more intensively and reach for water. After about a couple of weeks, the cuttings already have a bunch of well-developed roots and are ready to be planted in the soil. I'm going to fill small pots with garden soil and plant the root cuttings for growing before I plant them in outside in an urn or in a flower bed. It is necessary to water it well and place it in a sunny place outside. If the danger of frost has already passed or in the house on the windowsill, if frost is still expected. 
It is easy and very profitable to propagate geraniums yourself. With the onset of autumn and frost, I remove the geraniums indoors on the windowsill, and in the spring, I repeat the whole process again.